Welcome back, everybody. It's time of the video for you, and uh, I'm just going to show you a monitor that um, I've been work I'm working on right now. Um, this is a friend of mine's, Patrick's uh, monitor that he got out of a cabinet, and the person that he got it from said that they had capped the chassis on this and replaced the flyback. And when he hooked it up initially, the image wasn't even locking. As a matter of fact, it just wasn't even locking up for me. I was getting a um, what you know that you wouldn't even get a it would it would jig jag and you get doubles. But uh, um, I got it work. I got it work. I just adjusted the 50, 60 hertz pot and the horizontal hold, I believe it was, and sh cycled power. And now it's locking on. Um, but this thing, this monitor is one of the roughest monitors I've seen that works. <laughs> um, it's got a bunch of things wrong with it. One, the guns on this are weak, so I'm going to need to rejuve the tube. And you can't really see it so much here, but the uh, the colors are, you can see right there, there's the red. That's supposed to be solid red. This monitor needs serious degaussing, um, which is fortunate because I just got from Bob Roberts a uh, GC Tools degaussing coil. It's a monitor degaussing coil, and uh, you can build your own, but since I have so many games, I really wanted to have a nice high-quality one. This is it right here, and um, you'll see right here, it's got a momentary switch. You can actually see it from this distance when I activate it. Um, that way, you don't when you some of them you just plug them in and then you use them and you got to unplug them. Now, since this uses, it's got the current flowing right through it with almost no resistance. Um, actually, there's resistance, but it's so much current will flow through this thing actually get hot. So you got to you only operate it for a limited amount of time. As a matter of fact, it says in the instructions. Where does it say? How many times? You're supposed to let it um, cool for 30 minutes. Um, where does it say how long you can operate? I think it's a oh, one minute. So for one minute of operation, you're supposed to let it cool for 30 for 30 minutes. So anyway, so you see here's the tube. I'm just going to cycle through the other colors so you can see them. Sorry, green screen. So you can see it's on it's on the green as well, and the blue screen you can really see it. That's really crazy looking. So. Um, and so what, what you do when you go to degauss a monitor, and I'm going to kind of set this to this. Let's see if it can affect my camera. It doesn't seem to affect the camera good. Okay, so basically what you do is you start far away. You activate the switch, and you go in a circle, circular motion up to the tube, and then back away, and then deactivate it. So that's what I'm going to do right now. You don't want to you don't want to start up close to because you could actually bend the shadow mask in the process. So let me get this right. All right. So it's slightly better. We still got some distortion on it. Um, I can do this again, but I'm thinking it might possibly be the yoke is um, knocked out of alignment. This did definitely make it more even. Let's see what's going on. More if the yoke is even. I won't push on this too hard because it's just sitting on this little table here. Right. I'm actually going to run it one more time. See if we get any better. This monitor is in really rough shape. The tube on it, at least. looking a little bit better, but I don't think it's still, we still got some, definitely got some issues there with that tube. I mean, it looks a lot better than it did before, but still. You can see the red is very weak. Now maybe I can turn, can check the uh, drive on this. Actually, we get some more red in there. Okay. 
And what we do for to actually set the set the drives on this and the cutoff, you're gonna go to the um, color bars menu, and you'll see that this is really it's really hard to even do this on this because it's so distorted. But this is the red. There's the green. Is that a shadow there? No. There's actually a, a damage to the tube there too. Okay, we're gonna turn the green drive up now. Green drives turned up. Okay, so now you're supposed to look and see if these are even going across the, the shading. And for the most part they are. The blue could probably we're gonna do the turn the blue cutoff off down a little bit. This thing is so so distorted it's really hard to even tell anything. I don't know if this tube, actually if this tube can be recovered. Um, but just the fact that it's on the exterior here, I'm thinking that someone was messing with the yoke. The yoke probably needs to be pushed in or pulled out somewhat, but I'm not sure. I haven't, I've not done that before, so. Um, I'm definitely gonna have to, I'm gonna ask some of the guys to do this a little bit more frequently on that. But yeah, so it doesn't look like it actually does need to be rejuved. It just needed some adjustment on it. But, uh, yeah, but it's a, it's in rough, it's definitely in a rough shape. Um, so I just want to show you this, guys. I want to show you the degaussing coil. It doesn't work for everything. Same thing with this, um, this Terminator 2 here, uh, which I got a bunch of stuff sitting on. But, um, there's a corner of it that just doesn't, um, come out. It's got, a, it's got more of a red tint to it, so... Actually, the red has got a green tint in the cor in one of the corners. So, uh, but it definitely you can see it made an improvement in the image, but not not 100%. So, um, yeah. So I just want to show you that this this I find interesting. Wait, oh wait, a minute. that must be a shadow. It is a shadow. <laughs> there, it's gone. <laughs> uh, so, all right. So that's not on the tube. So that's good. Go back. Yeah, but that's just crazy looking. All right, guys, want to show you this. Um, just trying to get this tube working better. Um, so that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll have some more videos for you. And uh, definitely, I'm going to be. I actually haven't showed you this, but I got the. Uh, I moved the Donkey Kong into the lineup of games now. And what I'm doing is putting the cabaret over here. And so I've got the full-size Nintendo cabinets going across like that. And of course, my neon sign. So, yeah. And, of course, the red tent. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I will have uh, more videos. Lots of things to work on. And I just kind of wanted to clear this up since I have the tools to do it now. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to... Probably just going to do something else with this uh, monitor. Maybe give it to, give it away. I, I, don't think, I don't think Patrick wants it, so I'm just probably going to give it to my friend Broodwitch if he wants it, or Iconoclast518 is his actual YouTube username. Thanks for watching, guys.